Position and warning systems. Question, an anti-skid system is designed to. Answer, sense the deceleration rate of every main landing gear wheel and release then reapply pressure at a slightly lower value when a skid is detected. Question, in a brake anti-skid system, when an approaching skid is sensed, an electrical signal is sent to the skid control valve which Answer, relieves the hydraulic pressure on the brake. Question, an anti-skid system is Answer, an electrohydraulic system. Question, anti-skid braking systems are generally armed by Answer, a switch in the cockpit. Question, a typical takeoff warning indication system, in addition to throttle setting, monitors the position of which of the following? Answer, elevators, speed brake, flaps, and stabilizer trim. Question, the primary purpose of a takeoff warning system is to alert the crew that a monitored flight control is not properly set prior to takeoff. The system is activated by Answer, a thrust lever. Question, 1, an airspeed indicator measures the differential between pitot and static air pressures surrounding the aircraft at any moment of flight. 2, an airspeed indicator measures the differential between pitot and cabin air pressures at any moment of flight. Regarding the above statements. Answer, only number one is true. Question, the angle of attack detector operates from differential pressure when the airstream. Answer, is not parallel to the true angle of attack of the aircraft. Question, question, one, when an airplane is slowed below approximately 20 miles per hour, the anti-skid system automatically deactivates to give the pilot full control of the brakes for maneuvering and parking. Two, an anti-skid system consists basically of three components, wheel speed sensors, control box, and control valves. Regarding the above statements, Answer, both number one and number two are true. Question, in an anti-skid system, wheel skid is detected by Answer, an electrical sensor. Question, which of the following functions does a skid control system perform? One, normal skid control. Two, normal braking. Three, fail-safe protection. Four, locked wheel skid control. 5. Touchdown protection. 6. Takeoff protection. Answer. 1, 3, 4, 5. Question. In the air with the anti-skid armed, current cannot flow to the anti-skid control box because landing gear. Answer. Squat switch is open. Question. At what point in the landing operation does normal skid control perform its function? Answer. When wheel rotation deceleration indicates an impending skid. Question 1. An anti-skid system is designed to apply enough force to operate just below the skid point. 2. A warning lamp lights in the cockpit when the anti-skid system is turned off or if there is a system failure. Regarding the above statements. Answer. Both number 1 and number 2 are true. Question, when an airplane's primary flight control surfaces are set for a particular phase of flight, such as landing or takeoff, the corresponding control surface indicating system will show. Answer, trim position. Question, the pneumatic, read, type stall warning system installed in some light aircraft is activated by. Answer, negative air pressure. Question, stall warning systems are generally designed to begin warning the pilot when a stall. Answer, is imminent. Question, refer to figure 19. What is the indication of the red landing gear position light? Position light under the following conditions. Aircraft on jacks. Landing gear in transit. Warning horn sounding. Answer, extinguished. Question, refer to figure 19. Which repair should be made if the gear switch was placed in up position and the gear does not retract? Answer. Replace electrical wire number 12. Question. Which, question, which of the following conditions is most likely to cause the landing gear warning signal to sound? Answer. 
Landing gear not locked down and throttle retarded. Question, refer to figure 20. What will illuminate the amber indicator light? Answer. Closing the nose, left and right will gear full retract switches. Question. Question, refer to figure 20. What is the minimum circumstance that will cause the landing gear warning horn to indicate an unsafe condition? Answer. Answer. Any gear not down and locked, and one throttle retarded. Question. Where is the landing gear safety switch usually located? Answer. On the main gear shock strut. Question. What safety device is actuated by the compression and extension of a landing gear strut? Answer. Ground safety switch. Question. Which repair would require a landing gear retraction test? Answer. Gear down lock micro switch. Question. Landing gear warning systems usually provide which of the following indications? Answer. Red light for unsafe gear, green light for gear down, no light for gear up. Question. In most modern hydraulically actuated landing gear systems, the order of gear and fairing door operation is controlled by. Answer. Sequence valves. Question. What landing gear warning devices is slash are incorporated on retractable landing gear aircraft? Answer. A horn or other oral device and a red warning light. Question. When a landing gear safety switch on a main gear strut closes at liftoff, which system is deactivated? Answer. Anti-skid system. Question. The rotor in an Audison remote indicating system uses. Answer. An electromagnet. Question. The basic difference between an Audison and a Magnuson indicating system is the Answer. Rotor. Question. The rotor in a Magnuson remote indicating system uses. Answer. A permanent magnet. Question. Microswitches are used primarily as limit switches to. Answer. Control electrical units automatically. Question. Which of the following are some uses for a decelsin system? 1. Indicates position of retractable landing gear. 2. Indicates the angle of incidence of an aircraft. 3. Indicates the altitude of an aircraft. 4. Indicates cowl flaps or oil cooler door position. 5. Indicates fuel quantity. 6. Indicates the rate of climb of an aircraft. 7. Indicates position of wing flaps. Answer. 1, 4, 5, 7. Question 1. A DC Selsen system is a widely used electrical method of indicating a remote mechanical movement or position. 2. A synchrotype indicating system is an electrical system used for transmitting information from one point to another. Regarding the above statements. Answer. Both number 1 and number 2 are true.